Sosa. And you can see that despite all his accomplishments, and his high ranking among the pound for pound stars of the sport, Mayweather's still only 26. Three years age advantage, he gives up an inch in height. Uh, Mayweather a pound under the 135 pound limit yesterday as was Sosa. Unofficially Sosa will come into the ring weighing five pounds more. But a one inch reach advantage for Mayweather and a one inch arm length advantage for the more athletic of the two fighters. Rules of the bout with the now celebrated Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather Victoria, Victoria and Sosa fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the association and boxing commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. The doctor or the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. All yeah. right. We're in about a 10,000 seat arena here in Fresno. As you look around, we're looking at probably four or 5,000 empty seats. Here comes Victoriano Sosa to take his shot at joining the upset streak, which has brought so many prize fighters out of nowhere to sudden prominence this year. A second cousin to uh, Sammy Sosa. He says there are about 500 to 1,000 relatives in that Sosa clan. In fact, his last two victories were over a non-relative named Sosa. He knocked Paul Spadafore down in the fourth round and seemed on the verge of winning a lightweight title belt and then fell prey to Spadafore's softball tactics the rest of the way as he overcommitted and hunted for a one-punch knockout. He looks back now and says, that was my big tactical error. I got too excited. And here comes Pretty Boy Floyd, and you see the sterling record in title fights. But George Foreman, as one of the sport's biggest stars, I must ask you, you are Floyd Mayweather Jr. You're on the top six pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and you're fighting in Fresno. Should you learn something from that? Well, first of all, Fresno has got a wonderful turnout tonight, but Vegas is where everybody want to be, and there's something wrong somewhere. I blame it on the promoters and the manager, not the fighter. All they're supposed to do is get in the ring and kick it. The rest is up to selling it. All right. Mayweather openly stating to us yesterday whether he gets to fight Delaware or not, he wants more exciting fights, he wants more prominence. We'll see what happens tonight. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen from Selland Arena here in Fresno, California, this is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. Brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated in association with your King of Beers, Budweiser, American Champion Sports and Palace Indian Gaming Center, sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman Van Gordon Souter, Executive Officer Rob Lynch. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be Lou Filippo, Chuck Hassett, and Jack Woodburn. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Raul Cai Sr. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of tonight's promoters and HBO Sports, we salute the men and women, the heroes who serve and sacrifice with valor and heroism for the armed forces of the United States of America. And now from Fresno, California, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trimmed with gold and officially weighing 134 pounds. His professional record stands at 39 bouts, 35 victories, including 26 knockouts, with two defeats and two draws. From Santiago, Dominican Republic, here is the challenger, Victoriano Sosa. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, 
wearing gray trimmed with black, and weighing in officially at 134 pounds. His professional record is a perfect one, consisting of 29 bouts, 29 victories including 20 knockouts, and he commands the recognition of being one of the finest pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world today. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the two-time world champion, the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC lightweight champion of the world, Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. Una persona y el perdedor. Floyd, yourself or one person? One person. I don't care. I'm a, I'll, I'll translate it. Okay. Les di las instrucciones ahí abajo en el vestidor. You have the instructions downstairs. Remember, keep your punches up. Suban los golpes. Both your trunks a little high. El legal blows here. Ahora, dense la mano. Shake hands and good luck to both of you, gentlemen. Except for Harold Letterman, this is what not going to be a legendary night of HBO boxing, but we will get a chance to watch Floyd Mayweather Jr. and his skills. Sosa with a strong athletic body and may have more than the listed half inch in height over Floyd belts. Mayweather. The belts, I need one of the belts. They're gonna hold it for your second time. Not understanding the delay here at this moment. Referee looking for a title belt. What's over that here. all about? Nice throw. Tucker, hand it over, please. Ready, Floyd? Listo, Victoriano. Taking a belt to a neutral corner. All right. I got it. Now the fight begins. Mayweather in the gray trunks with black trim. Sosa in the black with gold. Sometimes boxing is like that box of candy that fellow talked about. You never know what you're going to get. No matter what you think, it's still a punch in there. Well, that's been the way it is this year, that's for sure. Floyd, who admits that his last fight was something of a bore against Castillo, is obviously determined from the way he's come out to make something sensational happen. It's going to be rough for Floyd Mayweather to do anything devastating because he's a, he's a boxer. Really a counterpuncher. He likes for you to take the initiative, and he cleans up afterwards. I mean, if he tried to overstep those boundaries, he can get himself in trouble. Tonight, he should attack his man, attack his man for about three or four rounds, then make him come in, then he can do what he needs to do. And there goes Floyd, following George's instructions and going forward to attack Sosa after Sosa landed against him. Mayweather smiling now as he jabs to Sosa's body. He says that his questionable performance in the first fight against Jose Luis Castillo a year ago a fight which earned a decision for Mayweather, but which some ringside observers thought should have gone to Castillo, was affected by a shoulder cuff, a shoulder rotator cuff injury. Now he's totally healthy and ready to fight at his best. That's why his opponent is jabbing him on his shoulder. <laughs> Mayweather slipping a punch and countering with a right hand across the top. If I heard my opponent was going to have had something done to his shoulder or something, I would jab him on it. I'd hit him on it. Make him really rethink his attack. Mayweather's smart now. He's jabbing to the body. This guy's allowing him, Sosa's allowing him to jab him and, and not do anything about it. You don't want a guy to jab you in a pit of your stomach for three rounds. That's a free punch. Stop. Stop. Mayweather says that Sosa's a guy who makes mistakes and will leave openings. He thinks he ought to be able to take advantage of one of those mistakes to do something spectacular sometime in the fight. Uncharacteristic of Mayweather to th throw so many haymakers this early in a fight. That's what he's got to do. Get so far ahead on the point that his man get careless to try to catch him and then he can get him a knockout. Sosa coming in, Mayweather with a quick little left hook inside. Fires the left hook again, Sosa chopping him with the right hand. 
Right hand inside by Mayweather. Back slows off. Left hook drives him into the ropes. Two good blows by Mayweather. Sosa yells, come on. Round one comes to a close. Some offensive bursts by Pretty Boy Floyd. You're the best out there. Take it down. Keep fighting smart. Go get him out of there. Beautiful. You already yeah. pulled what you got yeah. already. Yeah. He ain't want no more of that. Keep them out of there. Keep it up. Come on, 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 come Good action round, the first round. Lloyd Mayweather landing 16 out of 39 in the first round, and there's another stiff right hand across the top. Sosa 7 out of 33 in that round. Mayweather, despite all of his quickness and speed, does not tend to throw a lot of punches in a round. Like Roy Jones, he waits for his opportunities and then delivers a burst, and then waits again. Stop, stop, stop. Mayweather's going back to his counter punch. Waits till the guy do throw his little shot, and he does his little thing. You gotta win the first round if you really want to be an effective counter punch. First, second, and third round big. To make the opponent come to you. Yeah, so you can then sucker him in. If you just lay back and wait, it can be a rough night. Tries to follow in. Hands are free. Punch. Oh, stop. Stop. Break. Let's go. Mayweather got touched a little bit by one of the social shots that time. They really kind of got him blinking. by Sosa. Double left hook and a right hand. Mayweather sticking one jab at a time. Sosa bangs Mayweather's shoulder as George suggested he should. I would. I'd do it all night. I've heard he's got problems with his shoulder. Keep going back to the shoulder. And that is the shoulder that had the rotator cuff problem. Mayweather's jabbing shoulder. Now there's a right and a left for Mayweather and another right hand over the top. Mayweather's confidence growing as he lands and now complaining to the referee that Sosa got him low. The second time he's complained, the referee has ignored both complaints. The champion has to be prepared for an opponent to come in at maybe 125% as good as he's ever been before because that's how some fight challenges are going to be. Mayweather goes right back with that jab to the body again. I should say 25% better than you've seen before. Good counter right hand by Mayweather and he tries to follow again by attacking. That time faded with the right, fired the left. Another pretty good round for Floyd Mayweather. Next Saturday, Boxing After Dark returns with two intriguing fights. One, the long-awaited cruiserweight matchup between champion Vasily Giroff and challenger James Tony. This on-again, off-again fight promises to bring passion with the winner eyeing the omnipresent Roy Jones, the man for all divisions. Also on the Jones hit list, the other fight. Light heavyweights Antonio Tarver and Montel Griffin. Tarver's been calling out Jones regularly for years, and Griffin, of course, was the winner in that disqualification loss, which is the only negative on Jones' record. HBO, for 30 years, building legends one round at a time. Some rough stuff, followed by an overhand right. 
as Mayweather continues to load up on punches. All right, how your business? Showtime. Very precise. According to CompuBox numbers, Mayweather has thrown 39 punches in the first round and 39 punches in the second round. Landing at an almost 50% clip. <laughs> Mayweather has been able to hit Sosa with some hard shots that haven't shown any effects at this point. That's got to be something to go back to the corner and think about. If you're Mayweather, he, Sosa can take his best shot. Looks that way. And Mayweather doesn't usually invest uh, hard shots to the body. Now Sosa leads with the right hand to the body. Slips Mayweather's jab, but doesn't get anything done. And goes back to the body again. This is the fight that Mayweather loves to be in. He backs away, throws shots to the body, and keep a circle movement. He can win fights like this. He loves it. And you can see Mayweather staying off the ropes. He pauses at the ropes there, but manages to duck away. So far, Sosa hasn't been able to pin Mayweather against the ropes for any extended period of time. It's been a long time since Mayweather had someone to press him like that with mean intentions. He goes to the chest and to the body like one of those seasoned veterans wonder why boxing is exhausting and why such enormous conditioning is required. Look at the overall movement of Sosa's body as he goes in. Sosa trying to wiggle every cell in the body to present an elusive target to Mayweather as he goes after it. You can't miss Sosa if you're Mayweather now. The body is there, the chest is there. Forget about the head. Over the top miss for Sosa. Again, he bobs in. Having trouble telling whether there's a little cut in Sosa's right eyebrow. Something on the front of his face looks like maybe a couple of beads of blood, but it might be sweat. He was just hopping with that left jab now as he moved around. Good jab in boxing. Good fighter. This guy had been promoted in the same fashion he's been knocked around by, by certain people. He really gets some recognition. Glory for Sosa as he momentarily pins Mayweather in close quarters. His promoter, George, is the same guy who promoted Oscar De La Raya. Mayweather just, just didn't accept it. So now I've figured out what, what I thought was a cut. The gold sequins are coming off of Sosa's trunks one by one, and as they land and nestle on his body and on Mayweather's body, they tend to look momentarily like blood. That's Sosa's fight in those shoulders, back and forward. Coming in with a rhythm. He's giving a spirited challenge, but not yet an effective one. He was well. He was one out of time. Beat him up. He used to be in that ring. He did all the work, so he used to be in that ring. Compi box numbers through three rounds of a schedule 12. Mayweather's thrown 49 jabs and landed 27 of them. Sosa's thrown almost the same number, 46, and is credited with landing only four. Harold, how do you have it, 220? <laughs> okay, Jim, 30 to 27, three rounds to nothing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, I gotta tell you, you know, he's got Valeriano Sosa looking for the left hand, and then he wraps him with that straight right hand lead. I think Floyd's just getting into better punches, making Sosa chase him. Now, two things I gotta talk about. Number one, the belt. Okay, if Sosa were to win the fight, he's entitled to a belt. You don't make up a belt before a fight, so the commissioner holds Floyd's belt, gives it to Sosa if he wins on loan. And so that's what that's all about. The second thing is that uh, the gloves. Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather insisted on a Japanese glove called winning. Eric Morales used the same glove that's supposedly good to protect the guy with dead hands. And Sosa landed a straight right hand across the top, flush on Mayweather's face. 
while Harold was finishing all of that up. Mayweather popping the jab in Sosa's face, but Sosa has not been discouraged at all by Mayweather's greater effectiveness in the first three rounds. Mayweather can just get at home with that jab. That's what he ha hasn't been able to do thus far. Land uh, consistently with that left jab. If he does, good night, Irene. Boy, good counter right hand by Mayweather. Sosa took it and fired back a right hand of his own. That was a big time exchange. Mayweather grazing Sosa. That's the jab that Mayweather want to work. Absolutely. Left jab. If he can get that going, he brought it all about by going to the body with his left jab in the first few rounds. Well, according to CompuBox, he's throwing about 20 jabs per round. Whoa! Oh. Oh. about happened. There's a big right that hand. That hurt. By Victoriano Sosa. Big right hand. That hurt. Mayweather misses with the left hook. Sosa swelling around the right eye. But at no time has he appeared stunned by Mayweather's power. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go. You just can't follow a guy around just because he looks small. That fella can punch Mayweather. You don't follow him around, you like a spider get caught into his web. Excellent jab by Mayweather, right on the point of the chin. Good right uppercut inside. Oh, what a quick right hand by Mayweather. And Sosa continues to walk through the power shots. That's the big surprise for Mayweather tonight, that this guy can take these shots and keep coming back. Because that was the kind of punch you don't see. But he walked right through it anyway. Right, stop, stop! Mayweather is smart. When he throws that lead right hand, he throws his whole body in case he misses you. The action has to stop. Good quick left hand by Mayweather as Sosa came in. And again, the left hook lands for Mayweather. Sosa's a bear for combat tonight, but Mayweather's tattooing him with accurate punching. Boogie's on his face, but Boogie's on his face. Are you going to do something? Yep. All right. Please, Boogie's on his face. 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 Boogie's on his Tantico, si tú no combinas cinco o seis golpes, tú no te vas a ser campeón. Tantico, Sammy Sosa está, está mirando la pelea. Oíste, Sammy dice que está ahí. Tú so, tienes que ser el campeón del mundo. Mucho Oíste, peso. vamos a llevarnos ese título para Chicago. Vamos. Y mucho Mayweather may not always have an unerring instinct for doing the right thing before and after fights, but during the fights, he sure does have an unerring instinct. You talk about getting the jab going, George, by CompuBox numbers in that round, Mayweather landed 17 out of 25, five jabs, 68%. That's brutal. That's what he's been looking for all night, get that jab going. On the other hand, you were pointing to the monitor while they worked on Floyd Mayweather's right eye between rounds. What'd you think? I think there's a little scratch cut in. You better be careful with A little scratch could turn into a cut. He doesn't want to get into it in many exchanges with jabs. You want to jab and step away so the guy doesn't hit you on the side of the face anymore. Sosa was chopping away at Mayweather along the ropes and almost fell backward himself. Looked like he lost his balance. And Sosa's trying to wait. Keeps catching those jabs so he can get a right over top of Mayweather. And that's what you don't want to do. Just throw it right. You don't wait. It's very hard to hit Mayweather clean very often with the right because of how Beautifully, he uses his forward shoulder, the left shoulder, for defense. Almost a lost art. It's interesting, Sosa is cast as the attacker here, and for the most part, he's got to come forward. But every once in a while, he'll counter the counter puncher and show that he can do it too. That's what he's trying now with Mayweather's left jab. He gets the worst of it. Fighting Mayweather, you want him to come to you. Doesn't do well when, you, when he's going forward. He got in a good right hand of the body there. He's moving backwards. He's at home. Let him go. Let him go. 
Well, in order to get him to come to you, you'd have to be ahead on the scorecards. That's right. That's right. And only one fighter's been close to that. That was Jose Luis Castillo. There's a good left hook by Sosa. Mayweather protecting his body. Sosa comes back upstairs. Mayweather still protecting the body with the right arm. Doesn't want to give up that left push to the body that so many Latino fighters favor. Good popping jab by Mayweather. And again, he's got the body carefully protected. Mayweather's taking command of the pocket himself now. He's not stepping back. Standing in the middle of the rope, even out on his defense. Just locking them. Let the other guy do it. Of course, Floyd grew up in a fighting family. His father and both of his uncles, all of them successful professional fighters. Right hand by Sosa. He thinks he hurt Mayweather. Trying to go to the body. Floyd bounces in place as if to say, I'm fine. He's not bad. As if to say, where am I? Good round, baby. Abre la bajo. ¿Cómo te sientes? otra vez. This is necessary. Ahí está, ahí está. Hey, round six. Okay? Hop over. Let's make it on you. I don't want to attack it. Down here. All right? One more work down there. Take the most steam out of there. Sosa has gotten in a few clean punches like that one, but there was a bit of a push in an open, a semi-open glove. He didn't hit him real clean. Power shots in round five. Sosa threw 44, landing only seven, but that was more than Mayweather landed, five out of 13. Mayweather contenting himself to land 12 of 18 jabs in the round using that to help dominate the pocket, as George says. And Sosa thought he hurt him at the end of the round, and he comes back to the same point and starts talking to Mayweather as he goes after him. He hurt Mayweather with a right hand just there in that exchange. His right hands are really finding themselves home for Sosa. And I'll tell you what, the more he pounds on that left shoulder, the less Mayweather uses his left hand. That's a fact of the matter tonight. You don't know why you're not using it if you're the fighter. It just doesn't come. So when Mayweather backs up, that's when the trouble starts. You've got to stay in there with this guy if you're Mayweather. Those in Fresno who ventured out to buy a ticket to come into the fight, seeing perhaps more entertainment than might have been expected. See how effective Mayweather is if he doesn't move backwards now? Keep command of the middle of the ring. Only when he steps back, Sosa gets the spirit to throw a left hook and a right hand. A little lull here now as Sosa seems to want to rest up following the assault at the end of the last round or beginning of this. He just doesn't have a clue to what to do when Mayweather is not backing away. Mayweather continues to go forward and press the action against Sosa. You see the absence of the right hand by Sosa? Only because Mayweather's not moving it all backwards. So Sosa won't fire the right hand until he sees Mayweather's lead foot going That's backwards. That's right. That's exactly what he's doing. Mayweather stands his ground, finds the right foot as his pivot, got him back up. When he does, he's going to pay. Now there's the one-two by a braver Sosa. And as these middle rounds go by, slowly, imperceptibly, Sosa is beginning to throw many more punches than Mayweather. He's staying closer. Mayweather's not away. Now Mayweather's backing up, so that's when the trouble starts for Mayweather. By this point in the fight, Mayweather's thrown 217 punches. Sosa's thrown 280. And in the early rounds, it was more or less even. Mayweather hasn't thrown a good combination since the third round. And 
Is that a reflection of the caution that Sosa has pulled into him? No, he's just going for one shot at a time. He's throwing power shot, power jab, power right hand every now and then. Oh, big left hook by Sosa, and a counter left hook by Mayweather, and a big conversation to end the round. We've got a fight in Fresno. The English voice in Sosa's corner is Malcolm Garrett of LaPorte, Indiana. Sosa's been training in tiny LaPorte, Indiana, up near the Michigan border for the past six weeks. He was there when Sammy Sosa, another Midwesterner, hit his 500th home run. Hey, Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, I think Victoriano Sosa's making his fight a little bit closer. Four rounds to two, 58-56, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, I tell you, the first four rounds are when Mayweather was completely in control. But the last two rounds, Victoriano Sosa has landed good, hard, solid power shots, just like you saw there. He's making it once. And there's no question, George, he's targeting Mayweather's left shoulder and left arm. And just as you suggested it would, it's had an effect on the fight. Jabs are going down. But he seemed to tell Mayweather, run backwards so I can fight you. As long as Mayweather's there, he doesn't do anything. A little punch, he's right where you want him, and he doesn't do anything. Mayweather wobbles Sosa with the jab there. Time! I think that's a slippery okay, spot. This could be a small break for Sosa if he wasn't in fact stunned by that punch. The, they're slip, starting to slip. Steady. So we gotta, we gotta get somebody with two tosses in the minute period. We heard the referee ask a commissioner at ringside to get some towels so that they can clean it between rounds. Yeah. But now he's kind of advising them, well, don't fight on the wet spots, <laughs> which is a bit unusual. <laughs> Left hook lands to Sosa. Only when Mayweather backs away. Nothing happens if Mayweather stays in that pocket. Sosa is beginning to out-hustle Mayweather. This is part of what happened to Mayweather in the first fight with Castillo when some ringside critics thought he lost. His activity level dropped in the second half of the fight, and that gave Castillo the opportunity to come on and throw more punches. Stuff. Pretty good. You see if Mayweather is not moving backwards, Sosa even goes back. That jab is starting to have some effects on Sosa now. His head is snapping back. That was a good jab. Oh, stop, stop! Quick, let's go! George, you lend any credence to the notion that Mayweather really wants to fight Oscar De La Hoya? Oh, a lot of credence. I mean, the, the more of a disadvantage that Mayweather has, is better. He's a great fighter than someone else is on him beating him. He can fight you good. Is he strong enough to fight somebody like Oscar? 154-pound fighter? Put on some weight, just don't dry out, just be natural. I think he'll come in at maybe 60 himself. Oscar's a great fighter. I think he has as much chance against Oscar as Eric Morrell, the flyweight champ, would have against him. May 2, tune in for the premiere of On the Record with Bob Costas for season three. It's all new, all night, or a new night, new time, new broader focus, new shows every Friday as part of HBO's late night entertainment lineup. It's A-list guests and A-list conversation from the worlds of sports, pop culture, and entertainment. Have you ever used steroids? No. 
Would you ever consider them under any circumstances? I don't have to. On the record, starting May 2, only on HBO. Hey, Manana. Yeah. You must do it now. Well, you must attack it, repeat it, attack it, attack it, repeat it, repeat it. That's right. That's Multiple right. punches. Floyd Mayweather dominated the jab category. The last couple of rounds were more about power punching. Sosa's corner is asking him for mucho punches. In the seventh round, Mayweather only threw 27 punches. He landed 11. That's a high connect percentage, 41%. Sosa was only 6 out of 62. Can you win a round landing only 6 punches? Well, maybe if your opponent threw fewer than half the punches you did because activity and aggression is one of the things that catches the eyes of judges. Hands are free, mano libres. Sosa keeps his left hand up pretty good. Mayweather's having a rough time aiming in a good right hand. And Sosa has very good head movement. As you saw him duck a punch for Mayweather there. to the body again, Mayweather. You try to go to the body three or four times to make the guy reach down and protect his body, and that's when you go to the head. But Mayweather doesn't consistently keep his jab in his body enough to make him drop his hand. Four straight jabs for Mayweather. Between the guard, between the guard, over the guard. Sosa slows down when Mayweather goes back to pumping the jab. Mayweather half blocking the right hand with his left shoulder there. Larry made a good point earlier about how well Floyd uses the left shoulder for defense. Now Floyd beginning to seize a little more of the initiative again as he goes back to throwing his jab with greater frequency. If he throw, shows any chance of backing up, Sosa takes advantage of it. This is when a counter puncher have a lot of trouble. He starts doing a lot better when he's moving forward, throwing shots, but he doesn't like it. That's what happened to Mayweather. He doesn't like it being an aggressor. He just does not like it. Right, stop, 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 stop. Nice this is Father nice Floyd, nice himself nice. essentially a defensive fighter, trained Floyd to be a largely defensive fighter, mostly a defensively oriented trainer, and some say a genius in that regard. But if you start thinking defense first, that's a mentality that goes through your whole career. And when you're ahead and you can beat a guy, if you go forward, you still can't do it because it's taking over your life. There's a lot of cheering and excitement in the arena. You can tell that there are a large number of people here who may not have had an opportunity to go to a professional prize fight of this caliber before and are truly enjoying the chance. We've seen that in Portland, now here in Fresno, various places along the trail. They see an upset. Keep working. Okay, keep working. Keep fighting smart and keep working. No work, keep working. Put him down here. Here's a look at a montage of defense, of the craftsmanship of Mayweather. Uh, that's a skill that he learned when he was almost just out of the crib, and very few fighters employ it as effectively and smoothly. Down here. Right. Of course, Floyd and his father split a couple of years back. Now he's trained by his uncle, Roger, who also shepherded the early part of his professional career. Roger was more of an offensive fighter. And more successful than senior as a professional prize fighter. Total in round eight, Mayweather 19 out of 30, Sosa 8 out of 53. And again, that question comes up. Could the guy who landed 8 out of 53 win a round from the guy who landed 19 out of 30? Thank Sometimes you. it happens. A lot of momentum, it changes things. Crowd oohs and ahs for those punches that are landed by Sosa. 
They know that Mayweather is a huge favorite. And I think they suspected they'd see a pushover tonight. They had no idea that Sosa would come in and give an account of himself like this. Well, there's a lot of the general public that thinks that the competitive margins in boxing are wide. They're not. The competitive margins in boxing are by nature relatively small because this sport requires so much hard work, so much dedication, so much commitment over a long haul in the gym. Yeah, you see a guy, what, what, is, what is the title fight doing in Fresno? Must not be anything, but this fight could have held its own anyway. Stop! So the, the fans here are getting a treat. Mayweather back to the jabs. One at a time, one at a time. Sosa rolling more and more, jumping forward now. See how well Mayweather does when he get a the move and some activity going. This doesn't be lazy. He can do a lot of things. But he just sits. He truly would like to wait. But he says he wants to be more of a crowd pleaser and fight more exciting fights. The simple fact of the matter is his very best and most effective style is not particularly crowd pleasing. Unless he has a tiger in him. <laughs> That's right. Diego Corrales came after him and he, and he got him out of there in what was Arguably his best fight. He caught Angel Manfredi with early shots and knocked him out in two. That looks sensational. But that was about Manfredi mistakes. Now Mayweather switches softball for the first time in the fight. And Sosa rakes him with the right hand to the body. And Mayweather switches right back. It appears now that Mayweather has decided just to win the fight. Early on he was looking to see if Sosa was vulnerable and was throwing a lot of big shots, now he has settled back into his boxing style. He's moving over, he's bobbing and weaving now, trying to get in a left hook to the body. Throwing power shots to the body. That's, he didn't want to do that at first. Wonder if he may live to regret that choice, given that one of the three judges here, Jack Woodburn of Canada, has only judged one previous title fight. Not a particularly experienced judge. You won that round. You won that round. Why don't you be in first? Be you first. Be you gotta be busy. You gotta be busy. You gotta work. Okay? Okay. Work. By the way, the other two judges are veterans, Lou Filippo and Chuck Cassidy of California. Larry? Yeah, arguably the most effective punches that that he uh, Mayweather has thrown tonight is that stiff, relaxing jab. Stay right there, and then he's next chain with him. All right, all right here. Give me some. Okay. Give me some. Okay. Okay. Hands be bent. Stay close to that move. Hands bent. All right. So we've got nine rounds in the book. Already, Victoriano Sosa of the Dominican Republic has thrown 120 more punches by CompuBox estimate than has Floyd Mayweather Jr. Harold, how do you have it through nine? <laughs> okay, Jim, six rounds to three, 87-84, Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, he got off to that big four to nothing lead on my card. Sosa came back and looked terrific for three rounds. I thought he, he hammered Floyd for three rounds. But then the last two rounds, eight and nine, somehow or another, his activity just stopped. Mayweather started popping on the jabs and won, and won those two rounds. Jumping right hand by Mayweather in that exchange was the most effective blow, but Sosa came back with several attempted punches. Now he pops Mayweather with a jab. Yeah. The question now is, will Sosa open up so much that Mayweather will be able to hit him with a crushing punch? Now there are, there's a strange delay going on. Sosa thinks they're still fighting. Mayweather thinks they're wiping moisture up off the canvas, and the referee can't seem to decide exactly what it is they're doing. And there's a hard right hand across the top by Sosa because Mayweather gets lazy in there. He's trying to maybe get a piece of tape or something off the bottom of his shoes. That's what happened. Get something stuck on the shoes and it's aggravates. But he better wait until the bell rings and ask, and ask his corner to take it away. 
Let them do it. One thing I noticed, Harold had it six rounds to three. But if a judge saw the thing the same way as Harold up until the last two rounds and gave those two rounds to Sosa, not out of the question, he could be leading in the fight. Mayweather's starting to connect stop, stop, with the stop, right stop. hand that has been elusive, that the target has been elusive all night. Now he's connecting with the right hand. And I think that's all he needs to change things dramatically, dramatically if he just get with that left right hand on top. Good double left hook by Mayweather there. One up top, then the second one to the body. He's got, he's getting the range for the right hand, Mayweather. Sosa starting to throw fewer, maybe trying to load up the one punch. Uh, I agree, Jim. That's what he's trying to do, just as he did against Spadafora now. He feels he's behind and he has to land something to change the course of the fight. Well, it's not going to help him. The best way for him to fight would be to let his hands go and, and try to double Mayweather's punch output like that. Full combination. That shoe shine has been there for both fighters all night. He's the first one to take advantage of it. Three good jabs by Mayweather. Kept Sosa away for the moment. Then he bears in and drives Mayweather to the ropes. More good defense from Floyd. He really has the great feet. Round 11, two rounds, six minutes. Six minutes. You want to be champion? That's a zero. And Tomato Destra. Very important. And very important. Tomato Destra. Okay? You gotta let this right hand go. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We need some work now. We need some work. We need work. We need some work. Come on, man. Come on. Vintage Mayweather round in the tenth. Eighteen out of twenty-four jabs. Seventy-five percent. Seven out of twelve power shots. All in all, 25 out of 36. Sosa landed only a couple of punches in the round. Mayweather seems to have a possible working margin now. Last two rounds of the fight. Stop, stop, Bad thing stop, about stop. boxers, they always save some for the last two rounds. I've never like appreciated that. What do you mean, George? You think the aggressor runs out of steam at the end? But a good boxer, he counts on 12 rounds. So he saved those last two rounds. He's got something left. Could have taken a guy out with the same stuff. Could have not got a knockout if he just used that reserve that he was holding back for. He could have got a knockout earlier. Hey, As speaking of stamina, remember where you were 12 years ago today, George? 12 years today. You fought Evander Holyfield in Atlantic City 12 years ago tonight. That's why I couldn't remember. What a memorable <laughs> fight that was. Many times. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him a few times yourself, big guy. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't hold much back, George. Thrilling fight. And even though lost by George Foreman, a victory of sorts, it legitimized him as a heavyweight contender in his second career. But Mayweather's weaving now, trying to get to that body. Sosa's kind of hold back, protecting his side now. And that's when those left jabs start getting you and you start trying to protect your body. I think you can probably count the number of serious body punches that Mayweather has thrown in this fight on one, maybe two hands. He got in one good in this particular round. There's another one. And there's another one right hand to the body by Mayweather. The guy drops his hand now, so his hands are down a little bit. That's what you want. And for the first time in the fight, Sosa looks a little weary. He lands a right hand across the top, but his, his arms are dropping. He doesn't appear to have the same stiffness that he's shown throughout the fight. Mayweather's tapping on that body a little bit at a time. That hurts. You can see as he goes backwards, Sosa just not as sure in his footing as he has been through most of the fight. 
Mayweather has broken him down a little bit with constant solid contact. Marching him down, they call it with that jab now. Marching him. Throw the jab, you throw the jab, and then the guy thinks he's coming again, and you start hit throwing the right hand. That right hand has not been there all night for Mayweather. It's there now. So the left. hands have gotten slower, and Mayweather is now able to land four once at will. That was a very easy round for Floyd Mayweather. Hey, you like when you walk into him. Keep walking to him. That's how you beat a ball. Right now, take advantage of this. Beat a ball. Keep the back. Tú tienes que dar un no down o quizá un no foul. Okay. You gotta let the right hand go first from outside. Very important. Let the right hand go first from outside. Give me, give me, look, give me combination. We don't need that one jab, so we need combination. Keep your hand Walk busy. In. Keep your hand busy. You grind my arm, okay? Well, over the long haul, class tells. Going into the 12th round by copy box numbers, Floyd Mayweather has landed 59% of his jabs, almost 60%, and 55% of his total punches. And Sosa is landing only 14% of his total punches, even though throwing many more than Mayweather. Harold, how do you have it coming to the last round? Okay, Jim, 106, 103, seven rounds to four, Floyd Mayweather Jr. No, no doubt about that 11th round. You know, somehow or another, at crunch time, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is great. He really is. Says to land that jab and wax it, uh, Sosa with a right hand. Sosa's huffing and puffing at this point. I love that shoe shine in round 10, though. I just couldn't score against that. I'm glad George recognized it. This has not, not been the sensational victory that Mayweather had hoped for, but it's a very good win against an eager opponent. Mayweather, if he had only gambled the 11th round, he could have had a knockout. It's right there for him tonight, but he's cautious, too cautious. Does it matter, George? Is it important enough to get a knockout? Yeah, he should leave us with a knockout tonight. He want to talk about fighting the big boys. Give us something to talk about. Crowd up on its feet. They want him to do it. I think they're rooting for a Sosa to do something. They believe it's a closer fight than it probably is. This is when guys like Oscar De La Hoya, they'll throw for you. They will try to clean you out. They don't even like decisions. He's right there for Mayweather. All he has to do is take a gamble. But you saw the counter puncher in his soul as he made Sosa miss and danced away. That's right. Put on your dancing shoes tonight. Once a boxer, always a boxer. He, let me tell you, Mayweather pops. He, he carries some punching power around, but he doesn't seem to want to use tonight. Well, he, he reduces himself often to landing one punch at a time. You know, he, most of his sensational wins were at 130. Since moving up to 135, this is his third fight. And he hasn't been able to put a serious dent into his opponents as a full lightweight. He could have gotten a knockout tonight. I tell you that. He just the, the power, everything is there. Well, it'll be interesting to hear what Floyd tells us about this. Assuming he gets the decision win that he appears to deserve. I had Mayweather winning nine rounds to three. And Harold Letterman has Mayweather winning eight rounds to four.
So we'll see what the three official judges say. Chuck Cassett and Lou Filippo, both of them longtime California judges with very deep dossiers. It's the 55th title fight for Filippo and the 69th title fight for Hassett. But the third judge, Jack Woodburn of Canada, has only judged one previous title fight. That was Jones Woods in Portland, Oregon. Not a terribly difficult fight to judge. And of course, it wound up being a TKO six for Jones. So scorecards weren't critical on that particular night. You heard Larry say that he thought the crowd perceived it to be a closer fight. Some of that, of course, probably wishful thinking. You're not going to get to go to that many big-time prize fights in your life. You want it to be close. <laughs> I think not. They were pulling for Mayweather. He had a knockout right there I felt on the so table too. I kind of felt like the crowd was standing up because they were hoping Floyd would yeah. go ahead and reward them with a knockout. Reward That's right. them. That's what he would have done tonight, giving them a, uh, a reward by getting a knockout. I can't always figure out where I stand on these George Foreman versus Larry Merchant debates, but this time I think I'm with you. Oh, great. Larry, I got you. Well, <laughs> it's rare. Last week I was with him. Bob Arum standing above us and smiling as Mayweather charts another win. The on-again, off-again promoter fighter relationship there will be good if Mayweather won. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Chuck Hassett scores the contest 118 to 110. Lou Filippo scores at 119 to 109. And John Woodburn scores at 118 to 110. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC lightweight champion.